welcome back to my channel. I am Pixie Sticks, and today I thought I would go over some of the kits that I'm hoping to complete during this year's Drills and Chills and Festival of Witches. I'm really excited for these two community events. They are my favorite. So yeah, um, first things first, Dr. Pepper time! Of course. Okay, now let's get into the diamond paintings. The first one I have here is Halloween Witch. And this one has been out the longest, maybe? I've had this one the longest out of the three that I'm hoping to get done this year for these events. Despite that, it's probably my last priority for this year because I'm more dead set on getting these other two done. However, I really, really, really love this artwork and um, the, where the ABs are placed and everything. So we'll go through that when I unbox it. Kit number two. This one's Halloween Pug by Marilyn Kaznov, but this is a partial. And I got this at the same time as I got another one called uh, Witchy Kitty, I think. And that one I gave to my son. So he's gonna do Witchy Kitty and I'm gonna do Halloween Pug and then um, I think these will probably be like our main submissions for these events for this year, um, just cause we're gonna kinda do them together, so. The final one here, Midnight Spell. And when I tell you I have been waiting to work on this one, I cannot be more excited. I'm really excited for this one. I love this artwork. It was really fun to render and it's very large. <laughs> So I don't know if I'll be able to get it done during the event, but I cannot wait to work on this one. So I think we're gonna unbox this one first and we'll go to the other ones next. Okay, I think I've already taken the toolkit out of this out of maybe all of them, just because I get excited when the toolkits come and I wanna check and see which cover minders they come with and everything, so. You won't see a toolkit with this one, but it's the same toolkit that comes in other Diamond Art Club paintings, so <laughs> there's plenty of videos out there for those. Okay, let's see, Midnight Spell. There's our little journal sticker. Oh my gosh, this thing is hefty, hefty. I wanted to say a quick thank you as we unroll this to everyone who watched my first video, my whip and chat. I was very nervous to put that up because oops, we're upside down. Because I'm so bad at making conversation, especially if it's a one-sided conversation. <laughs> but I really appreciated all of your input um, and just your views. So, thank you. This is huge. Um, I'm not gonna be able to fit it all in frame. I wonder, can I zoom out at all? This is about as much as I can get in frame. Oh my gosh. I love her little snoot and all of her... Ah! All of her three cats. They're so cute. I believe... This might be someone's OC, so the cats and the OC might have names that I don't know. Um, I'd love to find that out at some point. Okay, here's our drills and our kit up sheet. Oh my gosh, it's a lot of drills. Such a cool color palette. Okay, let's see here, what do we got? I'm not gonna name every color, but if you wanna look at these beautiful packets of drills, I'll put them all on screen here for you. Whew. Let's see, there's four bags of 3371 and four bags of 310. 
Not bad. Three bags of 317. Then a lot of bags of 3799, which is our darkest gray. And then a lot more bags of 413, which is the next darkest gray. Lots of grays in this piece in the background and everything. Still waiting to get to an AB. Oh, here we go. Our first AB is this green one, 134. I love how sparkly this one is. It's one of my favorite ABs, even though green isn't necessarily one of my favorite colors, just because of how sparkly it is. Next one, we've got some pretty greens and oranges and brighter colors that weren't in our bigger strands of drills. couple 154s and a couple of 3860s. Let's see, 3727. Here's our second AB, 141. So shimmery. And then our third AB, 129. A pretty buttery yellow. And then our fourth AB, and this is our final AB. This is 124, and I love this light pink color. <laughs> okay, gonna do some. Miss Coffee movie magic to get all these back into their packet. And then I'll show you where the ABs go real quick. Okay, now let's look at where those ABs go. I'll move this out of the way. And I'm not sure what the best way to do this is gonna be, <laughs> but I know that that green AB is gonna go here on these beautiful plants over here. And then I think, yep, there's some down here in the bedspread and a little bit showing through from the pillow. And I think that's it for the green one. And then we have the yellow one, number twos, all throughout the magic in her wand that she's casting. They are also, <laughs> this is one of my favorite parts, they're also the eyes of this danger kitty over here. <laughs> I'll zoom in a little bit here so you can maybe see it better. We have some of the number fours outlining her cheek just very simply to give a little bit of glow to her cheek that's coming from the magic over here. And then we have more of the number four white AB in the magic around her wand. Look over here at her spell scroll. You're gonna see a lot more white sparkles as well as a bunch of that beautiful pink and this is going to be such a sparkly magical area i can't wait to do that one okay i'm going to go ahead and put up like an image of what this canvas looks like in its entirety since i can't fit the whole thing in frame for you but as you can see the symbols are really nice and clear and this one's just going to be so much fun to work on Okay, next we've got Halloween Witch by Sarah Mustafa, and I went ahead and took it out of the box already just so you didn't have to watch that. <laughs> if you guys have decided what you're going to participate in Drills and Chills and or Festival of Witches with, please let me know in the comments. I'm so excited for this event and I'd love to see what you're going to be working on. Oh my gosh, this one just says Halloween to me. It's got all the Halloween colors, 
purple, orange, black. Oh, it's perfect. And I love, I love, I love how Sarah Mustafa renders faces. They are so beautiful. Here's a close-up of the artwork. Looks like the sticker got a little mushed. But isn't that artwork just, doesn't it just scream Halloween? She's got jack-o'-lantern in her hat and everything. I'll have to show a picture of this one also because it is also too big to fit in frame. I'll try to put it sideways and see if that makes a difference, but I'm not sure if it will. I mean, I guess you can see a little bit more of it down to her belt and everything, and ugh, oh, she's got such voluminous hair, I love it. Okay. This one has 24 colors, so not very many. And this is a much smaller bag of drills. Let's see, uh, this one is 56 by 74, whereas Midnight Spell is 70 by 89. So this one's quite a good bit smaller, but they're both square, so I'm, I'm still not sure if I'm going to be able to complete both of these and the Halloween pug. But you know, it's two months, so maybe. I'm trying to be optimistic. <laughs> However, I will be gone for some of that two months on a family vacation, so that will definitely eat a chunk out of the time. So I always tend to bite off more than I can chew. This had a drill floating around, so I'm hoping one of these bags isn't open. I'm gonna be careful when I'm going through these. Okay, let's see just how many bags of 310 we're dealing with for this piece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, ten! Ten bags of 310. And then we have quite a few bags of 939. One, two, three, four, five bags of 939. Some 823. And then we're getting into the oranges and brighter colors. Ooh, here's our first AB 130. Oh my gosh! Look at that sparkle! This yellow, to me, isn't as nice as the 129 yellow, just as far as the color goes, like my personal taste. I don't like really saturated yellows, but I really think it's gonna work in this situation just because of the colors of the piece. Okay, I think there's only two strands for this one. bright, bright orange. Oh my gosh. Haven't seen any open bags yet, so that's good. Oh, here is 129, so I guess we have both in this one. I didn't remember that. Yeah, I love this yellow. So our ABs in this one are a lighter yellow and a darker yellow. So let's see where we can find those. Okay, let's look for ones and twos because those are our two ABs. We have a couple of ones as freckles on her face and just a line right here to show where it's glowing from her hair. Then we have ones here and here. And up here, these are the lighter yellows. A few here and here. All throughout her hair back here, there's yellows wherever you see that lightest yellow color. And then down in her belt, there's a few. And then there's also twos in all those places as well. So we're gonna have a double glow effect going on. And I think that's gonna look really cool. I haven't ever seen this one completed close up, although I know a lot of people have completed it. There's a lot of twos up here around her hat and up here in her pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. And there's a few ones in the stars. And then also along the top of her hat here where it's reflecting. And over here in this star and on her arm, there's both ones and twos here. 
So yeah, I think wherever it's glowing, there's going to be a lot of ABs. And I'm really excited to work on this one and see how that turns out. I'm loving the colors on this one. Okay, so last and technically least, since it's a partial, we have Halloween Pug. Let's get into this one. I'm surprised how large it seems, even though it is a partial. Oh, look at that cute little canvas. Oh my gosh. I've never actually done a partial before. Look at that face. <laughs> I don't know that I'd ever own a pug because of the way they breathe and snore and stuff. It kind of annoys me, but they are really, really cute. <laughs> and I love Marilyn Kazanov's style. I don't know if I'm saying her name right, by the way. Um, but she just, she draws really cute, adorable things. Even this jack-o'-lantern over here, the style of it. Just, oh, I love it. And is this the sorting hat? Someone tell me. It looks like right here is like the mouth and the eyes and everything. It looks like the sorting hat from Harry Potter. Just tell me if I'm crazy there. But yeah, okay, so the only parts of this that are gonna be actual drills are the dog and the leaves and the jack-o'-lantern. And then the background is just printed. I guess I'm going to try and like, I don't know, maybe washi tape section off this cover. I'm not really sure how to do that with a partial, but I thought maybe we could kit one of these up today so that it's ready to start for drills and chills. And I'm thinking this might be the one we do. Anyway, here is our kit up sheet. This one has 36 colors and it's 56 by 56. Look at that adorable artwork. Oh my gosh, those eyes. Okay, and here is our cute little pack of drills. It's so tiny. Some really pretty fall colors in this one. There's our first AD, and it's that bright yellow one. Look how sparkly! Screams fall. Ooh, here's our second AD. This one is 133 and it's a dark orange. I love this one for fall. I did work on the rendering for this one, but it's been a while now, so I can't quite remember where all the ABs are. <laughs> Only two bags of 310, that's not bad. Let's check this out and see if we can find where those ABs are going. Lots of ones, that bright yellow here in the jack-o'-lantern. And then our twos are pretty much everywhere. <laughs> we've got twos in the jack-o'-lantern, we've got twos in this little pumpkin, and then the leaves here and here and here. Oh my gosh, those are gonna be so fun to do. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get ready and kit this one up because this will probably be the first one I work on since I'm working on this in tandem with my son's entry for these events. So let me get my storage system out and we can kit up together. So for this kit I'm actually going to be using this Hildy and Jill brand bead containers and these are like um, similar to the Elizabeth Ward ones. They have like a bit different handles over here. But um, this will be the first time I've used them, so I'm interested to see how they compare to the Elizabeth Ward ones I have. So let's get started. The first step I usually take when I'm kidding up is to actually separate all of the different bags of drills into 
their individual packets and then I organize them by DMC code number and then that makes it easy for me to just grab the next one in the row and put the sticker on and I have a tendency to get less confused that way or forget which color I just put in a container <laughs> etc. I typically put the storage container over a tray because I'm very clumsy as you can see and that way if I spill any drills it's usually contained within the tray and I can just dump them into the container. I learned this after a lot of trial and error. <laughs> As for my thoughts on this Hildy and Joe bead container storage, I did notice a difference between it and the Elizabeth Ward version. Um, it tended to have a lot of like plastic pieces hanging off the side, like extra plastic that wasn't supposed to be there. Some of the little, um, I guess, hard plastic rounded out parts in front of the lid there had been like broken or I don't know, sliced maybe. So um, I just would say they're not quite as high quality as the Elizabeth Ward ones. I also noticed that when I was opening them, the side that's the hinge would often kind of come up and then I'd have to push it back down before I could close the container securely too. So yeah, I noticed there is a difference, but I think they'll work just fine. Um, I wish they had been a little bit cheaper considering they're pretty much the same price or sometimes more than the Elizabeth Ward ones that you can find on Amazon. So I probably will just stick with those if I buy more in the future. Okay, now that we've gotten all the drills kitted up, it is time to section off this canvas. I went through my washi tape and I think this might be the one that matches this the best. Hopefully I have enough of it left <laughs> to do the sectioning off. I'm going to try and figure out just exactly where my sections are going to be here. Hmm, It'd be fun to do. I guess like right here. Like these sections will go fairly quick because it's a partial but I could be incorrect about that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this whole section as one. And then about halfway between these two maybe? Oh my gosh, this is so weird, guys. Um, I think I'm gonna continue this one straight up the middle here. And then <laughs> maybe like right here? I don't know. And then I think we need to cut this off here somewhere. That is the weirdest sectioning off I've ever done, but <laughs> I guess we'll see how it goes. I went ahead and rearranged the colors so that they're in like color order because I love doing that. So here we go. We are all set to start drills and chills. Yay! Now we only have to wait like half a month. <laughs> but there we go. I hope you have enjoyed coming along this journey with me as I get all ready for these community events. And I can't wait to hear what you guys are going to be working on. So make sure and let me know but down below. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!